aid of Greece. He wants Janet Yellen to remind the European Central Bank of its obligation to pursue financial stability. Joining us now is Bernie Sanders. He's the independent senator from Vermont and the ranking member on the Budget Committee. He has also openly expressed interest in running for president in 2016. Uh, senator, welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's one heck of a provocative thought uh, you put forth, but why is it the right one? Well, I think the Greek people now are suffering. Uh, in recent years, their economy has shrunk by 25 percent. A quarter of their people are unemployed. Half the young people are unemployed. They're in the midst of a Great Depression. And if Europe continues to impose austerity uh, on the Greek people, two things happen. Number one, you're not going to see the economic growth that is required in order for them to pay off their debt. And number two, I'll tell you what worries me very much, and people are not talking about it, and that is the party that came in in third place in the recent election is a Nazi party. And if the new government is unable to implement the policies, the anti-austerity policies that it campaigned on, it's going to make a sham of Greek democracy, and you're going to have a Nazi party there saying to the people, democracy doesn't matter. Senator, I want, to, is, yeah, I'm sorry, I, want to, I want to address one of the first points you made, um, saying that Greece is in the midst of a Great Depression. Uh, surely folks could have said perhaps the same thing about what was taking place in either Ireland or Portugal or perhaps uh, a number of other different places, places that in fact did institute uh, dramatic, drastic, and very severe austerity measures, and their economies are now turning around. So why should Greece uh, get off that track? Well, let me turn your question around and make an interesting point. Uh, in 2008, during the world financial crisis, as you know, the United St the Fed, uh, in short-term loans, made trillions of dollars available to the ECB, the European Central Bank. Uh, the Fed could have said, hey, guys, you're on your own. Uh, but the Fed correctly did not. It understood the significance of what a worldwide financial collapse would be about. So I happen to think that it is absolutely imperative uh, that the ECB, that the Troika in Europe, uh, work with the Greek government, not in an austerity program which punishes people who are already suffering, but in a pro-growth policy which enables them to create jobs, expand their economy, and pay off their debts. Senator, what is it upon receiving this letter that you want Janet Yellen to do? I want her to make the European Central Bank aware uh, that the Fed has provided significant and continues to provide significant support to them, that President Obama was very strong uh, last week in saying that when a country is in the midst of a depression uh, like Greece is, there is limits to how far you can squeeze them. And I hope that she would make the ECB aware of that. But why would she make a political remark, and why would this come from the U.S. Fed? Are you saying that we should shut down any kind of swap lines that exist between the U.S. and Europe upon receipt of this letter? No, I am not. But what I am saying is that when they were in need during the great financial crisis, uh, the Fed was there for them. And again, this to me is not just an economic issue. If you look at what happened in Germany after World War I, uh, the Allies imposed real austerity through the Versailles Treaty. The result was the democratic governments that followed in the Weimar Republic were unable to deal with the horrendous economic conditions in Germany. Hitler came to power. I trust that nobody wants to see a Nazi party come to power in Greece. Sure. Senator, um, the, the irony of, of all of this is you're, is you're asking uh, Fed Chair Yellen to take some sort of action. Former Fed Chair Alan Greenspan telling the BBC your comment to this. Uh, these are his words. Uh, I believe of Greece, they'll leave. I don't think it helps them or the Eurozone. Just a matter of time before everyone realizes parting is the best strategy. So even the former Fed chairman doesn't seem to be too concerned of any sort of ripple effects of Greece leaving the Eurozone, an economy, I might add, that is about the same size as the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Well, let me tell you, what happens in Greece could be a prelude to what happens in Italy and what happens in Spain. There is massive opposition to austerity programs being, aus being imposed all over Europe. In terms of Mr. Greenspan, Mr. Greenspan was also the guy who told us that we should deregulate Wall Street uh, and Glass-Steagall, which led to the worst economic downfall in the history, modern history of America. So I'm, to be very honest with you, I'm not a great fan of 
uh, Mr. Greenspan's wisdom. wisdom. Senator, but wouldn't this then say to the European Central Bank at some point in the future, if they disagreed with some kind of U.S. policy, they'd be able to turn around and pull the plug on, on ours? Look, all that I'm saying is that in the world that we live in, there has got to be flexibility. We have got to learn what happened in Germany after World War I. We have to learn what we did to try to prevent a worldwide depression just seven years ago. And I right, think that was... I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I think imposing continued austerity on a government, on a people who in a democratic election rejected that concept is a dangerous thing to do economically sure, but, 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 and but this politically. Is a, government, a, a government, sir, that, that uh, went through years of unrestrained uh, spending where loans were, were too cheap and, and taken on uh, too heavily. There was a lack of financial reforms were put fair into enough. place when everybody fair knew enough. that they should have been put into place. Well, fair enough. And companies like Goldman Sachs may have helped them hide the extent of their debt. And no one denies that there has been massive corruption in Greece and that people are not paying their taxes. All of that is true. But you got a new government which won a new election on a new program. And to deny them the ability to implement the policies that people voted for is, I think, an economic mistake and maybe even more importantly, a political mistake. Right, but it's because it's a political mistake that the role of the Fed intervening here seems inappropriate. I just quickly also would like you to address intervening in one uh, democratic sovereignty while boycotting Netanyahu coming to the U.S. because you say we shouldn't be meddling in their well, democratic election. The, the Fed intervened during the great financial crisis of 2008 by providing trillions of dollars in short-term loans to the Fed. The Fed could have also said, hey guys, you're on your own. We don't know why your economies are collapsing in your financial institutions. It didn't. And I would suggest that that's a lesson we can learn for Greece. Senator, nice to have a civil and thoughtful conversation, uh, even though there uh, probably were certain people who uh, would disagree with uh, your premise to, to what the Fed should do here. But uh, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's Senator Bernie Sanders. With 15 minutes to go here, markets are coming back a little bit. We're still off.